Alright, let's go. Let's check this machine out. Cool. Alright, you guys. Welcome to the YouTube channel here at the Warhouse Gym. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing a tutorial and introducing you to the Astagrass hip thrust glute drive I created. A super uh, awesome machine, I think, just a much more advanced. And so, to help me tonight, I'm super fortunate to have Sheila right here, who is a resident competitor and also athlete and fitness model, as well as a federal officer doing a lot of great things here in the San Diego area. Sheila, how do people find you? Well, you can follow me on IG, so my Instagram handle is svelasco22, so S-V-E-L-A-S-C-O 22. Awesome. Follow me there. Cool, yeah, check her out, all right? She's gonna be helping us out here. Awesome, here we go. So, this is the Astagrass, better known as the ATG. A custom hip thrust glute drive, like I said, that I created um, overall to bring a better quality of and dynamic of the machine to the gym environment and the fitness industry. I created it with a larger platform, uh, a more comfortable seat that has um, high compression upholstery foam in it, as well as the belt, all made in house by myself and our team. And uh, Sheila's going to show you exactly why it's better than every machine out there. Cool. All right, young lady. Yeah. I really like it because the belt here is really large and it doesn't squeeze like any part of my um, like hips and then it's very comfortable and, and it adjusts really easy with like pretty much like an easy seat belt stuff and then also it has the back for the pad for your lumbar and it actually forces you to keep that crunch in your abdomen so you actually get like a better glute drive and because a lot of big mistakes for uh, like the um, your hip thrust a lot of women try to arch the back when you actually want to keep everything engaged and get more of that burn in your core in your, or in your glutes. So a very simple setup. We use a uh, professional aluminum uh, seat belt that has been sewn professionally uh, upholstered into the belt itself. So it is a high impact rated ANSI seat belt. So it can bear, uh, I believe it was like 1600 pounds on impact. So it can hold some weight. All right, young lady, show us how. Okay. As she's able to unlock easily, you can see that there's an advanced range of motion. She can get a great stretch on the tie-ins and up and over the top of the 180 degree horizontal plane, as you can see her demonstrating here, essentially simulating her standing straight up as if she was to do a bent over RDL or a deadlift. So it kind of an advanced maneuver, so she's getting full top to bottom range. How's that feel? Feels great. Awesome. Cool, perfect. There you go, and then easy, easy ability to lock. There you go, love that. Yeah, and then she can simply pop the seatbelt and hop out. And very comfortable. She can move on with her set, loading more weight because she's definitely stronger than that. We know for sure. Yeah, we have some uh, dues to pay here at the warehouse. If you ever get caught not re-racking your weights and we put you on blast, we make sure to put you to work. <laughs> Jonathan, come help us real quick for the YouTube. <laughs> These gentlemen lived a valuable lesson today about what we do. What's rule number two? Put your rack your weights. Your weights. All right, well, Sheila just put in a bunch of work right here on the ATG. Would you gentlemen demonstrate how we put these away, please? <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good pair of guys right there. Some of our members, uh, good sports. You know, we, we try to have fun here and we keep it clean and respectful for everybody so we have a good time. And I appreciate them all. all right, so how did it feel? It felt really great. So overall, it's really easy to put on and also get out of the machine. And it all smooths and flows really well. So it, especially when I want to engage, um, I feel all these when I do pauses at the top, I feel all the engagement in my glutes. And it kicks my butt, <laughs> literally. Excellent. So. And if you would, uh, so pleasant, if you are able to perform another set for us and then we'll go over some foot positions. Yeah, of course. Awesome, that'd Let's be go. great, yeah, definitely. So now that Sheila's all set on the machine, we're gonna go over a couple different foot positions so you can see how you can kind of target different ranges. So depending on your height, whether you know you're a little bit shorter in the five foot range in the mid or you're a little taller in the, in the six, exactly, <laughs> Sheila. Um, I recommend we'll go between the T and the O for a little bit smaller range so you can get not only a good stretch on the tie-in, but you also be able to push all the way over the 180 degree plane for that top shelf squeeze of your glutes. If you will, please. Excellent. See how she's able to get nice and deep and then push all the way over. And you can see here, 
Just, just in the movement as she performs it slowly, she's already activating her glutes and you can see it right away. And also as well, with this movement, because of the pivot and the heavy construction and being able to break that plane, you don't get a lot of quad recruitment, do you? Yeah, not too much at all. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful advanced machine. Cool, all right, and then you can lock it up. And if you wanted to go a little wider, depending, you know, like almost like a sumo, you're able to go out here. You can come up a little bit more and go more narrow if you want to hit like hamstring tie-in, things like that, there he is. Okay, so as we can demonstrate, you can try, you know, just walk through a couple positions and see how it feels. Yeah, yeah. Get a little bit more of a stretch. And then you kind of pull with more of the tie-in. Yeah, a little, little different dynamic. Yeah, exactly. A little bit more in the lower tie-in and hamstring. Yeah, depending on your foot position, you can really turn this into a multifunctional movement for a hip and glute drive. Nothing like it. We get a lot of people to love this thing. Okay, you go ahead and lock it. Yeah, you can go go like a wider stance. See how you feel. And what, what I try to do is um, uh, rotate your feet out a little bit and see, like, take your knee and then allow your like hip to stretch. Does that make sense? And here you can see with a wider stance, allowing the hips to open and get more of a stretch and change the dynamic of the, uh, the area of target, essentially. Nice. Well done. Excellent, Sheila, thank you. Yeah, not bad, a little different? Yeah. Yeah, Su super cool, yeah. So yeah, that, that's definitely one way to use this, and this is for the purpose, because most people have never, like, you've ever seen anything like this before. Yeah. yeah, and so being a very different machine, it can seem intimidating, but it's actually super easy to use. So if you have any questions, definitely ask us. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Cool. All right, thank you, Sheila. I appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah, won't, won't keep, keep you from your workout. But make sure to check her out on Instagram. She'll be tagged in the link below. And you guys, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe, follow, and hit the notification button. This girl's stronger than me. Crazy. All right, thank you guys. Good night. Good night.